Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scared204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Goliath Tract Mine Transport Trailer. There isn't any official name for this trailer except basically what its purpose was to serve. Uh, it was used to transport and uh, deploy Goliaths to be used out in combat. I found this trailer especially used with uh, the combination of Ken Crads. So attaching this trailer to Ken Crads or attaching it to other utility trailers pulled by Ken Crad. Uh, basically the main purpose of this was just to allow the life to be easily transported to its deployment area and easily deployed it to combat. Um, so the trailer itself is designed to kind of go with a uh, to with two other tutorials and to kind of make like a little like I guess scene a little kind of engineering type vehicle or demolition crew vehicle uh, so basically what this is is we've done a few tutorials already uh, for the Goliath the kind of infantry cart here and this trailer is going to be the third tutorial in this sequence and the main design for this is to kind of go into a, a design I saw from a lot of models and stuff like that and pictures as well of a Ken Crad pulling this infantry trailer and then pulling a uh, Goliath trailer behind it um, obviously to you know, go deploy it. Infantry cart probably carrying supplies for it. The crew would, that controls the Goliath would ride on the Kettenkrad, and so on. So, kind of the general idea behind this in the trailer itself. Um, the trailer, when it doesn't have a Goliath on it, it kind of sits at a weird angle with the tongue touching the ground. So, I decided just to go ahead and make this kind of the version that you would have tow behind, because probably most likely, if you're going to be building this thing, you're going to have this thing uh, out being towed by something or whatever. Uh, but if you want to, you can obviously add like a little birchwood fence post or something like that on the bottom here so that you can have this look like it's um, just sitting there and ready for some vehicle to attach to it. Um, anyways, uh, going ahead and taking a look at the trailer itself. There's not much really to cover for it. Um, you have It's basically a standard trailer. It's a pretty bare bones um, trailer, more like a dolly, I should say, than anything. And uh, it's pretty open and just the Goliath slides right onto it, latches on, and is pretty much good to be transported. It's uh, pretty simplistic. Uh, all around and nothing too crazy whatsoever. Anyways, uh, that's going to kind of do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and pop into the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and do uh, layers uh, one through three all together in one go. And uh, we'll start off with building the tongue of the trailer, which you'll connect up to whatever vehicle you have towing this. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and obviously build this all in one go. So layers one through three. Uh, one thing I want to throw in here also is you can have this uh, easily attached up to a half track, a Ketten Crad, um, a uh, pretty much whatever you want, um, a Kobo Wagon, Opal Blitz, anything you really want to you can easily attach this up to. I think it looks better because it's a five block design rather than a um, three block design like the infantry cart so it works a little bit better with those vehicles. Um, but of course you can feel free to do whatever you want. Um, so anyways, going ahead and getting started, we're going to start off with a sandstone stair. Now this stairs right here is going to be what connects up to whatever vehicle you have, um, basically you're connecting up to. So for example, with our Kettenkrad here, this would connect up to where this cobblestone wall is. Uh, there's typically a wither skeleton skull here, like that, so you'll break it and you can attach it up like so, uh, coming off of it like that. Um, you can also have it attached here on the back of this infantry trailer, if you're doing the kind of that design over there, you can easily have it. Uh, connected up there on top of the iron trap door over with deleting the wither skeleton skull. Again, those are two options and those are something you guys can do, but uh, obviously we'll leave that up to you and what you guys want to do for that. Anyways, we're going to place down our sandstone stair like this. We're going to place down a sign on both sides of the stair. We then also want to go ahead and place down a sign on the front of the stair. If you have this thing just sitting by itself, stationary without being attached to a vehicle, you place down a sign on the front of the stair. And if you are also having this thing stationary, you can just go ahead and add a birchwood fence post on the bottom of this stair as well for the little leg it kind of sits on. After that's done, we can go ahead and then grab ourselves some wooden trap doors. We're going to place down a wooden trap door right behind this um, sandstone stair. We then want to place down a sandstone slab on top of the wooden trap door. After the, wooden tr the uh, sandstone slab, we're going to place down a wooden trap door back. On the bottom of the wooden trap door, we're going to place down a sandstone top slab. Once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone stairs. We're going to place down a sandstone stair like this. We're going to place down a wooden or a wither skeleton skull on both sides of the sandstone stair. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod coming off this sandstone stair, followed by a sandstone slab on both sides of the end rod. Once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door on the bottom of these two sandstone slabs like this on both sides like that. 
going ahead and continuing on. We're going to place down a uh, stone brick top slab. Come off those two wooden trap doors with a sign on the side here of those two stone brick top slabs. Both sides like so. Going ahead and continuing on. We're going to place down another stone brick top slab that goes back on both sides. This time, however, we're going to place down a nether brick up down stair that comes off both these stone brick top slabs out to the sides. We then want to go ahead and place down another, uh, another brick up down stair coming off the stair on the back of the stair right here. And on top of these two stairs here, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs, back to back, on top there, like so. Um, once that's all done there, we're going to go and grab ourselves some birchwood fence gates. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate, open up like this on both sides, come off these two stone brick top slabs, connecting up to those narrow brick stairs. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door. And in between, or basically in between this space, so kind of back from the wooden trap doors here, we're going to place down a wooden uh, kind of trap door here from the fence gates, kind of open over that empty spot right there. For us to put the glide up on and that's kind of the basic kind of like general design here for the trailer besides the wooden trap door so if you just want to have like the standard trailer alone it's pretty much what it looks like it's pretty bare bones i know uh but that's how it actually is for fitting the goliath uh but we will need a wooden trap door if we are adding the goliath so to add the goliath itself onto this trailer uh we're gonna go and place down a uh, nerve brick up and down stair here on both sides like this we can then go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, item frame we're going to place down an item frame coming off both these uh, stairs. So both sides here, just like this. Once that's all done, in between the stairs here, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like this. We're going to go back from the sandstone stair with a smooth sandstone block. We're going to place down a sandstone corner stair here coming off this narrow brick stair here on both sides like that. We're going to place down a birchwood plank that goes back like this, followed by another sandstone, uh, a sandstone stair. This time it's going to be facing this direction here on both sides like that where they're going to place down a uh, anvil so an anvil on top of that one trap door followed by a nether brick stair come off these two sandstone stairs like that we also want to place down a item frame sand smooth sandstone block in the item frame same thing over here on this side as well uh, once that's all done there we're going to place a one trap door on top of the anvil and we're also going to place down a stone button on top of this uh, smooth sandstone block once that's all done here, on the back, we're going to go and place down a birchwood fence gate, come off the anvil, like this, followed by a wither skeleton skull here, on both sides of this fence gate, like so. Uh, once that's all done, uh, the last thing for us to do is just grab ourselves some black carpet and place down one, two, and three black carpets on top of the sandstone stairs and the narrow brick up sound stair. Same thing there, over there on that side as well. Once that's all done, that's going to do it for the uh, Goliath Tracked Mine Transport Trailer. Hope you guys did enjoy this design or are able to put it to good use. Again, it's going to work perfect in a little scenario where you are having some kind of, you know, transportation of the Goliath or some kind of little scene where you want something like that going on. Um, anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this design. If you guys end up using it, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This is the main thing from a silent build. Tweet to my channel or this video if it does appear any social media sites. Just be sure you're proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these type of videos. So, um, as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.